interested in their car. Mostly? Yeah. They aren't fun, are they? <laughs> Not with all the legal stuff happening afterwards and paying for hospitals or your car. And I have a story to tell you. On March 9, 2002, on the way back from Atlanta, Georgia for a math Jeopardy competition, my teammates and I were involved in a car accident. The driver, Johnny Midget, he was trying to take off his hoodie as he was driving on airstrip at maybe 70 miles per hour. This is assuming that he's not speeding, which is thoughtful. But <laughs> he was trying to take off his jacket, didn't see the car ahead of him, and tried to dodge that car. Ended up with veering all the way from the speed lane into the guard railing on the other side and hitting the trunk there, spinning back and hitting the front end on the concrete wall that splits the two sides of the, inter of the interstate. I was scared out of my mind, I can tell you that much. And hope pretty much everything turned out okay. No one else was involved, but I think because that time there's not that many people on the road, but it could have turned out to be much, much worse than it did. So I'm going to convince you all that being distracted while driving is not a good thing and to not do it. Ways you can get distracted while driving is by texting driving or taking off hoodies, talking to the people beside you, changing the radio, or any such kind. Statistics say that about maybe 25% of drivers that are involved in car accidents are because of testing and driving, and approximately maybe up to 50% total of distracted drivers cause car accidents. And over that 50% of car accidents, 20 of them were fatal. That means a lot of people died because they were distracted in either any of the above listed. And a reason, another reason why you shouldn't text and drive is because you have to take into consideration your parents' feelings when they heard when they hear that you are involved in a car accident. I personally didn't tell my parents that I was involved in a car accident because I know they would immediately drive to school when I get back and to see if I'm okay and whatnot. And I don't want them to have to worry too much. But some of the other people that was on the car with me, their parents came and checked them out. And that is basically why you should not drive when distracted.